Hi, this is Carissa with our best blog, and today I'm really, really excited to share a recipe with you using this product, it's Veggie Slicer. It's called the Veggetti. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna make some zucchini pasta that has an alf um, a cilantro, basil, avocado cream sauce, and then we're gonna add our meat of choice because we have to have meat in every dish. Okay, so I just opened this Vegetti, which is a spiralizer vegetable cutter, and it is great for people that can not have pasta, like I can't. You can make squash, you can do potatoes, you can do carrots, you can do whatever. So this is what it looks like. It's kind of interesting. There's a thin side and a thick side, depending on how big you want your little fake noodles. And then there's also this, and it kind of holds whatever vegetable you're using on, so it's kind of like a safety net for your fingers, so you're not sticking your fingers in there. Seems like it's pretty easy to use. I think we just take our zucchini, put it in, start spiraling into a dish, and then once we get close, we'll put the little safety thing on it. Make sure to wash it before you use it, of course, and then wash your vegetables. So let's let's get this recipe started. For this recipe, you're going to need some pretty basic, easy ingredients. You're going to need some cilantro, basil, of course your zucchini or whatever other vegetable you want to spiralize. You're going to have some garlic, some lemon, salt, pepper, sea salt, um, if you choose any other spices. You're going to have some avocado, and then if you choose, you're going to have your meat of choice. All the ingredient list is going to be in the comments as well as this blog post, so just check those out for the exact amounts. Okay, so we have our first try using the Vegetti. I'm using the thin side, and I'm just taking my zucchini. No need to remove the outer layer unless you don't like the skin, but there's lots of health benefits, so you should be eating it. It's making really long strands. This is so cool. It's all it's not even breaking apart. So I guess if you wanted smaller strands, you would just cut that on your own, but this is kind of nice. It makes it really like a pasta. So since we're getting towards the end, I don't want to hurt my fingers. So I'm going to cut off the end and use the safety thing. Just jam it in there. And there we go. Keep going with our faux noodles. Okay. So there we have our noodles. We're going to do this uh, with the remaining zucchini. Our noodles are looking really nice. I'm really impressed with this so far. I'm really, really excited about this thing. It's so easy to use. Um, it's making great size noodles, all long strands. It's just taken me a couple minutes to make these and um, so easy. And the little bit left at the end that I end up having, I'm just going to save that, put it in my compost. Maybe I'll put it in a broth that I'll make. Whatever you want to do, there is no waste. Sure, there's a little bit left, but you don't want to cut your fingers and use it. You might as well just use it in some kind of broth or in your compost. I want to show you, this is really cool. So whatever side you're using, the other side will come, this core will come out, so your seeds and everything don't get included in the veggie noodles. So that's so neat, it just pops right out and it does it right for you. The next thing we're going to do with our zoodles is we're going to put some sea salt on it just to take out some of the moisture, make them a little bit more noodly. And then we're going to let them sit for about 20 minutes. Um, you can do this in the sink, it will leak, or you can put a plastic bag underneath or a paper towel, whatever you want to do, but we're just going to sprinkle some sea salt on it, wait 20 minutes, and make our sauce while it's doing that. To make the sauce is really easy. You just take all of your ingredients and you just put them in the food processor until their consistency is exactly what you desire in a pasta sauce. Let's blend it up. So lastly, we are going to pat down our zucchini with some paper towels to try to get some of that moisture out. 
And then we're going to heat up a pan to medium with some coconut oil. And then we're going to add our zucchini to the pan and fry it up for just about two minutes until it's warm. Then we're going to add our sauce, mix it all together, add our meat, and we have our meal. So we added our zucchini to the medium heat of coconut oil. We grilled up some of our favorite natural chicken sausage and we added our avocado sauce. We're just going to heat it up for a little bit, mix it all together, and then it's ready to be plated and served. So here's our final product of the zucchini pasta. You can add some basil or some cilantro to make it a little bit fancier on top and then enjoy. Thanks for watching.